this past weekend, Putin met with the hand-picked pro-Kremlin leader of part of Moldova that Putin wants to break off from that country to make it part of Russia. Just like he's been breaking off pieces of Ukraine and taking those pieces for himself and forcing those parts of Ukraine to be part of Russia now, he also appears to have designs on parts of Moldova to do the same thing to them. When Putin brought this pro-Kremlin leader of a, a breakaway part of Moldova uh, over to Moscow to meet with him, the president of Moldova got so alarmed by Putin taking that meeting, by, by what Putin said about how Russia might need to go in and take care of things in Moldova sometime soon, the way it has in Ukraine. She was so alarmed by that that she flew in person to the first European NATO country that would agree to form a defense agreement with her country. The president of Moldova flew to France, signed a new agreement with France, where France hereby agrees to come to the aid of Moldova if indeed Putin attacks there too, just like he attacked Ukraine. So Poland's building bomb shelters. Moldova is forming new defense alliances as Putin is threatening to invade Moldova too. Now, a third one, the nation of Georgia. Reuters reporting this weekend that in the nation of Georgia, which doesn't border Ukraine, it borders Russia directly, Another one of these hand-picked pro-Kremlin officials from part of that country that Putin wants to break off and make it part of Russia instead, that local leader in Georgia has, quote, discussed its possible inclusion into Russia with Moscow, according to Russian state media. So he brings over a, a pro-Kremlin hand-picked leader from part of Georgia that Russia wants to break off from Georgia and make it part of their own country. So Putin has invaded Ukraine. He's in the third year of his war in Ukraine. He's threatening two more countries on his border. Another country that's bordering Ukraine is threatened enough by how he's behaving toward them that they're building bomb shelters for civilians in their capital city. Just a few days ago, in a fourth country in the same neighborhood, in Lithuania, which borders both Poland and Russia, we had a, a vicious hammer attack. What appears to have been an attempted murder broke the guy's arm, smashed him up. A hammer attack on an ally of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Alexei Navalny was, of course, himself recently assassinated in a Russian prison. So, I mean, so you put all this together and what you're talking about here is a geopolitical wrecking ball. This isn't one war. This isn't, you know, a country with a border dispute, right? What Putin is making happen in the world right now is constant war and destabilization and threats and terroristic violence and assassinations in multiple bordering countries and pushing right into NATO. And of course, when he pushes into NATO, that directly implicates us. Putin was asked ahead of this weekend's Potemkin election in Russia about whether he wants to engage in peace talks with Ukraine since that war is now in its third year. Putin scoffed at that. He said, why should he bother doing that just because Ukraine is running out of ammunition now? And indeed, Ukraine is running out of ammunition now, and that's largely because of us. It's because of the Republican Party, at least, in the United States of America. Since pro-Trump hardliners installed a new Trumpier Republican Speaker of the House, American aid to Ukraine has stopped. And so, yes, Ukraine is running out of ammunition to fight Russia. So why would Russia stop and hold peace talks or anything else right now? Putin can see how this is going to end as long as the Republicans in the United States of America keep doing their part to help geopolitical wrecking ball with apparently limitless ambitions. It's one thing to start the largest land war in Europe since World War II. It's another, one, another thing to, to be three years into that and starting to rattle your saber at multiple other countries on your own borders and the borders of the country you have already invaded. 